<laughs> and we are live. <laughs> Who has the stream on in the background? The best opening ever. Best Is that you, Sheree? Okay. Ready. Okay. Let's let go. Uh, well, <laughs> Friday. Clean it up and, and don't uh, do it again. We're, we're, we're off to an awesome start already. Uh, this week we are talking techniques. Uh, are you a follower? Or are you a innovator? Or are you an idiot like me who just mashes bricks together and goes, look, I did a Lego. <laughs> Nobody has anything to say to that. Okay. No, already Keep said that. <laughs> so we got to look at uh, places that you might be able to find tutorials, um, not just inspiration, <laughs> but actual, you know, step-by-step -step things that show you how to do your stuff. Um, how to find techniques online or in books or magazines. Uh, we'll also talk about our own personal experiences. Of course, as always, I have my awesome panel of fellas. We have Darkside Bricks from Bundaberg. Howdy, howdy. We have James from Benigo. Hello. And a knife, apparently. <laughs> we have Douglas, who's not paying attention. Yep. Hey, Douglas. <laughs> It's all right. and, and we have Dazza from down south of the border, aka Gandalf, aka the Mad Mexican for the fourth floor. In your own, I'll, I'll give you a jewel, James, with a brick separator. <laughs> yes, but mine's a fake brick separator with a Jeffrey the Giraffe end on it. Oh my god. It's fake. <laughs> fake. I and win. Chicken head. Somebody's now a chicken head. Okay. Yep. We're um, starting with chaos. Yep. Good. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Starting with chaos. Hang on. Can we rewind the video right to the start? <laughs> I'm sure. That was, I think that's when our current prime minister was talking about the parliament. He was actually referring to this thread at this time. <laughs> it's a kill stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> It's yeah, can, can we bring, bring it back to slight less chaos for a moment? Uh, clearly, James is having a mukbang in the in the background there. Yep. What are we eating tonight, James? We're opening this now. I'm going to have it in my mouth. <laughs> Don't ask you when I have. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yep. Okay. Did that come in a six pack? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, hello, Ryan. In in the live chat, one day you will join us. Join us. One of us. One, one of us. us. Go on, James. Swallow. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a perfect time. That's what she said. Spread. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit too soft. But... Oh my goodness. That's what she said. No. Oh. Right. <laughs> All right, now we've had two in a row. No, enough. That so what are you eating, James? Crunchy Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> because um, this is a, a rather late, and um, um, Dan here in Victoria, we've decided to do this top daylight savings thing. So it's what eleven o'clock at night. So it's a late dinner, and just bung up some pizza. So I just. <laughs> I put some stuff onto it. I made some pizza! And I just put some stuff on the pizza in, the, in the oven and took it out and sliced it. Uh, and Johnny it D called it. Look, I had to ask for Johnny D because he's obsessed with what everyone's eating. Oh, fine. Okay. It's a... Really? Uh, it's ham, a cheese... Um, what, ham, egg. bacon. Oh, what, what's Darren <laughs> got? Darren's got snacks. Bullets. Daryl Lee chocolate bullets. Yep, dark chocolate ones. Fresh. Dark chocolate. They look like little pigs. Carson will be shitting like a duck later this afternoon. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> anyway. Back, 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 back to Lego. Yes. Yes, because I only talk about chickens. And, and oh, of course. Of course, yes. All right. There you go. That, took, that took seven minutes for the word chicken. I know, I know. I know, I know right? <laughs> No, no, he was a chicken head before, so chicken yes. has been. Anyway, getting back to Lego. Focus, focus, focus. 
You had a question while well, I was eating. Good question. Good yeah, question. Oh, okay. All threats with screen shares and everything for tonight, but they're all on the laptop and I'm on my desktop now. No. <laughs> I can't exactly screen share. That face. Well, you can bring up the laptop and put it to the screen. There you go. <laughs> it's oh. right there. Oh, it's okay. right there. That could work. No, it won't. It's oh. like, no, I won't do it. Anyway. Anyway. Was there a right. question? Darren will answer the question first. Darren. What? <laughs> are you a technique man? Are you a freestyler? <laughs> I'm glad she put style on me, but that, that's all I've got to say. Oh, oh, do you go both ways? I'm trying. I'll try and eat once, and if I like it, I'll try it again. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. I have an interesting minifigure, which is can't, somehow appropriate. I'm hoping well, well. the facial expression doesn't match, but anyway, moving on. He looks what? worried, James. What do, you, what do you think of my honourable duck? Oh, sorry, honourable duck. Um, oh, my goodness gracious. Huh? I it's get a, a thumbs up from James. It's cool. a chicken, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's a chicken, yeah. Sorry, it's not peaking duck. If it was peaking duck, it'd be doing this. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dad jokes aside. Boom. Yeah. No worries. No, I look. I do my own thing quite a bit. Develop my own techniques where I can. I'll just sit down and fiddle with parts and see what fits together, whatever way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is not going well tonight. Is it? Very well. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't did a regular. James, 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 you're supposed to swallow it, not breathe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Holes just don't have the clutch yeah. power. What? This is getting worse. Uh, just... I'll, I'll, I'll dig myself a hole, hey? Yeah. You want to start a hole and hide? So this was A and this is video B. And. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh dear! Just, just as an example of, of messing around and seeing what you can come up with, I think everyone sort of got the idea. I like messing with clouds. Yeah. I can zoom it back. We, we we have we have a question for James. James. Oh, hang on. Oh, well, Darren first. Your your, your second biggest yeah. fan. Hang on, just quickly. Your second biggest fan because your biggest fan is a spong. Johnny G asks, question for James, how many Star Wars UCS space chicken porgs do you own? Um, I'll take that after Darren. I don't want to – he was in the middle of saying something. Sorry, but – Answer it. Answer it. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. Well, uh, yeah, considering I am eating something which does not taste like chicken, which <laughs> is different because the porgs do apparently. But, no, I have zero space chicken porg things. Um, and I have zero interest in having a uh, not space even a stuffed board. one. Sorry, not even a stuffed one. Nope. Um, although I do have a T-shirt with Paul's looking at a lightsaber, and I might show that later on. Mm. But and that is awesome. Um, but yeah, old school OT Star Wars. Um, and I think I might have. Oh, I've got some Rogue One stuff, but technically that's the original trilogy. Really? When you think Dark Side, that's kind of the original trilogy, Rogue One? Sorry? Would you consider Rogue One to be part of the original trilogy, considering it pretty much happens like 10 minutes before? <laughs> 10 minutes <laughs> before. Before it starts, like, yeah. The original quadrilogy, yeah. Yeah. So I only really focus on those. Um, and as far as the set is concerned, it, it holds zero appeal. That's just me. So um, oh. I've got to stop somewhere. Fair enough. Okay, Darren, 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 Darren. Sorry, we interrupted you. Darren. That's all right. That's all right. We've, got, we've got to look after our main man, Johnny G. Oh, yeah. You had a pressing question. Yeah. So... When it comes to developing techniques or new styles or whatever, quite often it's just about sitting with a pile of parts and finding and see what becomes of it. So, as everyone sort of knows, I like playing with clouds. You'll see in my mock in my corner there, there's some clouds sticking out. There. So, this is a new technique I've been playing with, mm -hmm. and that's using the ice cream part. 
So you can see it's sort of they're stacked up, stacked up to make a 3D sort of build. Um, I'm not quite happy with the way it comes out at the moment, but it needs a bit more work, but it's getting there. So it's just something I've been messing around with. And if I see it pop up on a show before I show it, I'll be very upset. No. <laughs> Hey, if I, did, if I didn't expect anyone to have a crack at it, I wouldn't have shown it. Um, but it's fragile. That's the only reason I haven't actually shown that one as yet, because it is fragile. That being said, I've seen people use the Unikitty base as a, quite a good cloud, and it um, obviously works well as that. So I'm sure we'll see a few of those in mocks next year mm -hmm. um, going up into skies. Um, it's just a matter of yeah. Sometimes just having like what I what I sort of refer to as a mock box. You just have a random assortment of parts, and just grab things and see what works, and try and join things at different angles. Try to see what'll work. Think outside the box. Pretty much, yeah. And it's like okay, use other pages. Like like we go have a look on the internet, see what there is for inspiration. But um, also for me, my big inspirations actually come from real life. I like to look at engineering and see how things go together and then see if I can sort of, you know, not so much reverse engineer it, but see if I can adapt the techniques to work in Lego. So, yeah. And with Technic and the likes of that, I mean, now, you know, the, the, the stuff you can do with Technic from real life is incredible. It's just, you know, puts a whole new spin on things. So That is true. Yeah. In, in, sorry, just interestingly, at um, Mugs last weekend, we were um, chatting about um, Art Deco buildings. And, of course, the diner, which you've got sitting behind you, is a pretty good example of some Art Deco sort of, you know, styling. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty good build. And we were just discussing how you would take some of the cues from buildings around Melbourne and replicate them in Lego. And... Uh, yeah, it, it's amazing what we can do because of the parts range we have now that you wouldn't have been able to do 20 years ago. That is true. No way could you have built as neat as we can now in that sort of style. A um, lot more curves and, and angles. Yeah, yeah. Like so, so, oh, yeah, right, Johnny G. Then Darren, then Darren Clouds worked well on a Cheech and Chong mock. Oh, <laughs> Interestingly, in my... Um, Copperhead Road, 101 Copperhead Road, I actually had the um, ice cream parts as the smoke coming off of the um, burning uh, plant materials. So that's pretty close, Johnny G. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Darren, you would consider yourself mostly a freestyler. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. I, I rarely build the plans. Like, I do a lot of, lot of design in Lego Digital Designer, but it's pretty much just for when I haven't got parts in front of me and I'll just sit there and try and put bits together. If they'll go together digitally, they're going to work easily in real life. Mm. So, you know, I, I think I've only I ever built three that, that is a good point to make is that you do not need to freestyle or, or whatever with physical bricks. Yeah, right. You're capable of manipulating things on a screen. Um, yeah, and you can do that on the tram. Mm-hmm. If, you, you know, if that's the case, you're on public transport. We, we've actually got a couple of guys in mugs who have little mock boxes that they've made in lunch boxes and they actually have a little base plate in the lid and they'll actually sit there and build stuff while they're on their way to work. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. And they, 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 they practice new techniques and that while they're doing that. So, yeah. That's a very good idea. Pretty cool. So, so I guess the points are think outside the box, um, be inspired by your, you know, your environment, so um, yep. looking at how real world things go together. Um, what can I add to that? Be inspired by colors, shapes, textures. Um, you know, what other ways you can use things like um, use pieces in unconventional ways? Yeah. And just another point, I know we brought it up before, but when you're actually mocking things initially, don't get hung up in color. As long as you know the part you want is available and the color you need eventually, don't break that train of creativity. Just use whatever you've got at hand in whatever color it is and then rebuild it later in the correct colours. Otherwise, you just lose that creative momentum and you just that's when it all falls to bits. Yeah. Not falls to bits as in physically falls to bits. But well, falls it bits. could physically fall to bits if you don't Excellent. build it structurally. So I guess that's another point is that, um, you know, you learn by trial and error what will work and what won't work because um, that's one thing I was watching a video by someone well-known who has a huge mop and said that he had troubles um, whenever he moved it for a show 
parts would break and inevitably, you know, you learn from that and rebuild sections of it so it was stronger. Yeah. Yeah, so the engineering behind some mocks is more than most, pe most people will actually ever think about. Look at something like the um, UCS Millennium Falcon. The engineering inside that is just far more than people consider. Mm. Um, the UCS Star Destroyer is the one that you've got behind you, James. That's um, That's got some pretty phenomenal structure inside it too. Let's be honest. I built the Falcon, at, as you can see. Um, as far as the internal structure and all that is concerned, um, well, it's impressive, definitely, and like it, it felt more to me that it was a frame for stuff. Like what, once you had set it out and you got the basic shape and got the basic strength, it it seemed to be like in different phases. So, you know. Once you put the legs on and it was strong enough to support the weight because it is very heavy um it, it didn't really seem like a difficult build um like to conceptualize right there's a big difference at least with me once you conceptualize something and and actually putting the bricks you know together in, in a pattern it didn't seem like a complicated build at all um once uh, because I kind of think about it in a different way. But the actual Falcon itself looks more complicated because of all the plates and stuff like that, which is on top, which kind of, it's kind of like an ice cream sandwich. So you've got like the bottom half, which plugs in, and then you've got the top half that plugs in, and then you've just got stuff in the middle, like greebles and that. But yeah, like the, the trickiest thing is probably the, um, like the, the main passenger, you know, how you got the circle and then you've got like the passenger <laughs> um like the um it's like an angled corridor and that's where the cockpit is um that's possibly the most complicated thing i'd say that um the most complicated build i've seen in the last couple of years would probably be the saturn five um also because it's not as well um it, that is easily one of the complicated most complicated bills i've seen and probably one of the cheapest for parts as well so oh and that <laughs> um the carousel yeah. is a good one sorry the carousel the carousel the internals on that are quite complex well, I guess yeah. the point is that you can learn technique from building sets. Mm. Especially if they're sets you've already got. Phil, so, uh, Darkseid, have, have you learned anything from building any of your Star Wars stuff that would help you with mocks in future? Oh, God. Pro yeah, surely I have, but I couldn't think of any stuff off the top of my head. Oh no, I'm not putting you on. Every, every every build I've done, um, I've learnt something new. Right down to the um, UCS Y wing, just the way that they've used um, studs not on top um, techniques, like the greebling and all the yeah, the greebling. Or just uh, on the sides at the at the at the front of it, the main cockpit area. Or the studs not on side techniques that they use then there. So yeah, there's been lots that I've used that I've learned from building sets. Definitely. No, yeah, the snot that's in well, the, the techniques that they've used in the Falcon are fantastic. Just you know, the different ways that you can use the same bricks, but in you know ten or twenty different ways. You know, Yep. Yeah, with um, something that was really good to, that's worth um, going and looking back at instruction wise, go and look through the mix. Well, they had some very good techniques in them. Um, there were some very, very good building techniques in the mix, especially off axis ones. So, well worth looking at. The problem is, it is kind of tricky. Um, you know, you might have an an endemic memory and that might be fantastic and good on you but um yeah not everybody can you know can look at something and then remember it instantly um i know that sometimes i can recall stuff you know like that and then it's just a flow and then 
it all just comes rushing in, but not initially, no. Um, and for me, Lisa, it, it, the most difficult part is starting. Um, the inspiration might be there, but it's just where do I start? Like, for example, I've been talking about this for the last, the last couple of um, ones that I actually want to start building a stone wall. I know what it should look like. I know the pieces I needed to do for it and stuff like that. It's just starting it. It's just doing it. And then once I start, then, yeah, I'll stop and it'll build the screen. It'll be massive and huge and awesome and all that, etc. It's just starting it. Stone. Anyone? Yeah, you're right. Stone walls are one thing that might sound strange, but actually start with stone walls from the top down initially. Try and get the top of what you want to finish it like and then work down from that. That might sound a bit weird. I can't do that because of kind of what I'm doing. Um, I'm thinking of support as well. Yeah, but what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to get at sort of more or less is try and work out what the top of it's going. Just build the very top bit, like maybe three or four, five bricks worth, okay? and then build from the bottom and then fill between the top and the bottom sort of thing. It's sort of, yeah, well, that's just the way I go about it anyway. It's not just a wall as well. Um, I'll be doing um, because me it'll be overly complicated but I want to have like little vignettes kind of pocket all, pocket all the yeah, way through yeah. so the, and um, yeah like, how do you guys kind of um, how do you guys start other than top down yeah no but that's you know it's like um when I was at school, uh, one of the things I learned from um, writing things, for example, stories, etc., was actually write the ending before you even write the start. That might sound weird, but at least you know the point you're working to. So that's that's why I sort of take that top-down approach with some things. But okay, again, but, but, this is another another way. I've just got this part out of a set. It's the ship's window. I mean, I've stacked a whole pile of them. That's going to make an awesome micropolis build when you put, like, four of them together in a cloverleaf type sort of formation. You know, that's sometimes where the inspiration comes from. Just stick a pile of parts together repetitive and see what happens. Yeah. So. Hmm. So who here likes to learn techniques before they start playing with bricks? Yeah, that's a good point. Learn it as you do it. <laughs> yeah. Or, or do you go looking for techniques after you start building or something? <laughs> yeah, this is how I should have done it. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I tend to have a look before. Um, actually, uh, I think we mentioned, oh, was it last week or the week before? I forget. <laughs> Um, it was kind of a little bit of a crossover uh, before when we were talking about different, you know, ways that we're inspired and stuff like that. Um, I mentioned a couple of Flickr sites and I've got a couple here um, as well. But, um, for example, um, there was recently um, some stuff in the latest Blocks magazine um, and they're actually quite good. Actually, looking at the date, there should be one available quite soon. But anyway... Um, and, you know, they have a variety of different techniques that they, um, you know, for example, they might be having a look at, you know, road waves or um, uh, antique desks. <laughs> is that this? Is that this month, is it? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it's a couple of months away, that one. Yeah, yeah. The newer ones are in the other room. I forgot to grab them, but... Um... That was something I wanted to touch on is the fact that there are publications like Blocks Magazine that specifically have little tutorials in them yeah. that are not too complicated to follow. Actually, you know what's also quite a good source? And it's probably a good idea for those, you know, yeah. a lot of your viewers don't have a huge array of sets. Like, well... Let's let's say, for example, not everybody has a complete row of modulars. Some people would like to have them. Some people absolutely shouldn't. Um, but some people do. Some people have Star Wars, whatever. <laughs> I, for one, think that modulars are evil, evil, evil things that 
I should never have because they, you know, you get one and then you get another. And yeah, I've already got that with Star Wars. So, but uh, DK each year they release um, like hardcover books. And so I think this year they've done a re-release of the Lego book and there's a Star Wars thing and stuff like that. But every couple of years they re-release um, like the best sets. Okay, so the best sets or you know the sets that their top ten list or whatever. And I think when when they go through modulars in particular and they say, okay, um, Parisian restaurants and stuff like that, they actually um, have lots of different photos and, and zoom in and say, okay, well, this is the kitchen and the Parisian restaurant, that's how they did this and that. And so it's, it's just as good as having the set itself. And if you're looking for inspiration and, and different ways that you can manipulate stuff for photography or for minifigure design or just layout or to make it look realistic or, or whatever um a publication such as that other than the fact that it's cool and it's a great book um that could be a an idea of getting some inspiration and, and starting up and, and learning new techniques and stuff yeah there's also a lot of um what do you call it not necessarily um backed by lego books unofficial that was the word i was looking for there are lots of unofficial books out there with tips and techniques and stuff like that. Um, I tried digging for the around. There's like a book that I have somewhere around here. Uh, yes, No Sarge Press does have a lot of them. Um, the Warren Eldsmore. Yeah, and um, there are options for um, – Online books, like um, what do you call them, e-books instead of physical books, if you don't have the room to store them. Um, you can always have them on a tablet or your phone or a device. So you've got it whenever, wherever you go. And, um, you know, if you need to refer to a technique when you're out and about, you've got it on hand, which is cool. Um <sighs> Trying to think of some titles off the top of my head, but I'm not that organised, eh? I love the beautiful Lego series. Yes, there's some. If you can get them, so, uh, wildly support that series. It's just not just from a oh, it's fucking lovely and pretty because they are, but just the just the design and layout and how they look, just really great. Yeah. Yes, I bought the bird, the wildlife one for Elizabeth for her birthday a couple of years back for inspiration, and yeah, she's... That's quite that's, a nice one. That's inspiration. Good. There's one that's come out really recently, and I couldn't think of the name of the title. It like, came out like in the last couple of months or so. And for the life of me, I can't think of the name of the book. But Google is your friends. Um you know, find find um, you know online bookstores that you know have Lego books. Just have a bit of a peruse and see what's out there because yeah, you might even be able to get them at your local library. Remember what a library is? You never know. Uh, one of the ones I like to do is mm -hmm. um, if I know there's a set that's done something similar. I just um, do the digital download thing from the Lego site and have a look at their plans directly. Yeah. So, so even if you don't have the set, you can still, you've still got access to it. Yeah. So if you like, you know, say something that's on the diner, you can get the instructions for the time without having to buy them. I'm kind of interested to know how they do that. Um, hang on, I'll just click on you. You know, the curved roof with a, you know, like, um, downstairs. Yeah, that, that whole side section. I'm guessing they do it reverse and they have those little one-by-one one dimple bricks, right? And they kind of flip it over. And um, but Assembly Square was great for that. Um, that. I think I was the only one that I managed to get. Oh, yeah, Assembly Square is full of different techniques for building. That was fantastic. Um, but so, away, away, hush. Evil people don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Great for parts. Um, yeah. Yeah, I should have bought a pile of them while they were around. 
Uh, oh, they're still around now. Yeah, they're still around. But everyone wants top back for them. Well, well it's coming up to them. them in stores, aren't they? Yeah, it's, um, well, it's October, so we've got well, a couple of weeks. You probably have another sale. Yeah. i got too much in labor at the moment, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I uh, no no. I have too much on lay by. Ninety percent of the lay by belongs to the person in the other room. I think you're doing it wrong, Darren. What? You're in trouble for somebody else's lay by. Yeah. Yeah, you got that backwards, man. Yeah, I know. You do. Return it, and then put the other one on it, <laughs> and have the payment they put on the lay by. Onto the oh, new okay. Make it complicated. That yeah. way, yeah. you will have too much in the lay by, but then you can own it and then it's yours. How about that? If you're going to get in trouble, do it right. <laughs> All or nothing. If you're going to be in the doghouse, just yeah, bring some pillows and a mattress. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> get comfy. Make yourself comfy. Well, yeah. well um, yeah, no, I. It's mainly Just get some after pay, some zip pay, a few other bits and pieces. Oh, yeah. Those things are evil. Yeah. <laughs> Evening, Miss Amby. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got too much on after pay as it is now. Ah, oh, after pay and lay by. No, uh, yeah, no, I've got car bits on after pay. Oh, the joy of multiple hobbies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Someone asked me today where I was living, and I said, if I spend much more money on my extra, I'll probably be living in it. Yeah. So we've talked about books and magazines and that sort of thing. Uh, Flickr and uh, Pinterest were things that we mentioned last week's show. James is like, isn't this the same topic as last week? No, no, it's a slight segue from last week's topic. I do have a very good link that I could share if you're interested. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to go back to the main page. Okay. Can I have share? Can I have share? Are you ready for share? Yes, the porn is off the screen. You can have share. Oh, God. Okay. So if anybody is interested, it's that creating new brick, which, funnily enough, is quite descriptive. Now, I've got – so generally what we do, we completely ignore this and we go straight to photos. Bear in mind there's a few, the 54.50, and there's quite a few pages of – Things now, it's not just a matter of oh, this is a pretty picture, mm. and yes, some of them are pretty pictures, however, some of them are like um, some instructions. Okay, so if you want to, I don't know, that's not a particularly difficult one, but again, it's you know, some of them are you get the idea of how they go about putting um, and so if you're interested on how to make a that, <laughs> um. I mean, that desk lamp's cool. I mean, it's just, you know. Yeah. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, like, there we go. There's a, you know, something from Skybird. Wow. You know. So have a look at that page. And as far as the instructions on that is concerned, like, I was actually having a look at wow. different ways that they were working on. Mm. Um, cool way like, to build a turntable. Yeah. But I, I was having a look at, like, how they're doing domes and stuff, which is okay. kind of. Um, reminiscent of, see that's that's very reminiscent of how they did the um, the shuttle. Uh, yeah. The difference is instead of all those, they use the curved on the tiling. That's a nice little evil. Um, some micro scale. And that's the beauty of Flickr is that there are multiple groups in Flickr that you can join that have tips on you know techniques. Well, that little bookcase, that's snazzy, and, you know, little yeah. micro houses. So, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and there's 55 pages of it. So, yeah, that should 
Uh, that's that water that moves when you crank it. It's based around the nets. That's a very cool technique. Yes. Now, I was looking at... Uh, but it's very damn expensive. It was, uh, Must go have a look at that site. That's, that's, uh, so I've seen a lot of those bits and pieces elsewhere, but, you know, it's like, yeah. Um, so, oh, yeah, that's the same one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, and that, that's kind of what I was looking at before, just inspiration of, of how I could do it. Now, what? Now, do you think, in your opinion, what do you think would look better, a rock with a mix of snot and studs like that, where you know they've they've taken it um, like vertical, yeah, or that as um, a, a horizontal where you use a lot more bricks but you potentially have more detail, or something like this. That that I do like. That's actually very well executed. But if you imagine that, but then taken on its side and you know pasted so to speak but i love the footprints they're awesome like that's just like mm. it looks mm. like a lego mini figs footprints that is yeah. so damn cool yeah sorry i'm a bit childish boy you said that's damn cool <laughs> but yeah and like that's a, a mini fig head <laughs> you just scalped it yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah yeah so. but that, that's a very cool little build and yeah that's yeah. You know, and that's what I mean. There's there's plenty of, of stuff available, and that was. But well, let's be honest, I didn't really take long. Um, I just went through um, some of my extensive lists of links and that, and I just selected four or five that might be useful. Um, but as we mentioned before um, last week, you know, you can easily spend days, oh. weeks, months, years just looking at it. Again, for me, it's hard to start but it's easy to find ideas. So hopefully that'll help somebody if you're grasping at um, ideas. Motivation techniques. And, and another thing too about groups and things like that, forums, etc. cetera, um, I belong to several lug pages and quite often people will put up, um, this is what I'm building and they'll ask for creative, constructive critique. And then they're looking for Sometimes just a pat on the back, fine. That's if they're looking for that, that's fine. You'll know who's doing that pretty quickly. But sometimes people are actually looking for some genuine feedback and, and some new direction on where they're going. And I'll give an example today. Uh, there's a guy in um, Southern Bricks, and I'm sorry, I can't remember your name because I'm, I've got a memory of a goldfish when it comes to names. Goldfish have good memories. Yeah, five seconds. Yeah. They're all not right. five seconds. They're very smart. Thank you. Okay. I'm all right, all right, all right. I, I have I have a drawing from the movie type. Okay, what was that? Oh, look, Lego. Um, anyway, he's building a vineyard, and he bought this very expensive um, reddish brown plate that um, he wanted to use as the basis for it. And then he said, "But I he realized it's too much." And then the sort of the question went, "Well." Yeah, I paid a lot for it. Then if I start to cover it up, it's sort of sort of defeated the purpose. So one guy suggested, well, why don't you put some green in the middle of the rows and then leave under the middle, uh, leave under the vines actually bare, so that the shows. And he's gone all that sort of, you know, you know, still again, it's covering too much of it up. So I just suggested, well, look, in again, this is going to the inspiration of real life. Is that when in most vineyards, when they're in between, like or when the crop's growing up they will actually put a cover crop in the middle of the rows, which actually helps prevent frost. It's, it, it, traps some moisture, it traps some moisture in the middle of the row and it basically stops the frost from getting the grapes as hard. And it also helps control the weeds in the middle of the row. So they'll grow something which can be ploughed back in as a cover crop for green manure and it stops the weeds which suck the, moist, suck the nutrients away. So what they will then do is move that in. So I said, how about you use the green plant stalks and just sort of randomly scatter them at the middle. So you, you're not completely covering the middle of the row. You can still see bits of the brown coming through, but you've got a sort of a, you know, a bit of green in there to break it up. Whether he does or not, it's another thing, but it was just another thought that you can add to that to take it to a different level. I mean, I know he spent a lot of time searching out for this brown plate. So, you know, they're not exactly the dark reddish brown plates easy to come by. So, yeah, it was just a thought though. And maybe you'll do something that maybe not, but, 
Yeah, but that's where, as an example, looking at something in real life and going, okay, well, that's how they do it in real life. Why don't we just sort of work it over a bit? You know? You've got lots of yellow flowers. Do sunflowers. A lot of guys grow sunflowers up the middle of their vineyards because <laughs> they're working quite well. Or canola even sometimes. You know, it's just like, yeah. Um, must admit, many years ago, we were harvesting on a, pro on a property and um, it's an old tradition um, from uh, and a practical one. They put roses at the end of the boxed ends on the rows. And what it does, it attracts the things like aphids and that to those. And then that gives the ladybirds something to feed on. And then they'll go through the rest of your crop. And I jokingly said to the woman, are we making rosé here? <laughs> because case one of the guys hit the end of the end of the row up and belted all the petals off of her um, roses and put them in the bin of wine grapes. And it wasn't a real good thing. We'd spend about an hour fishing them out. <laughs> um. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't smart. <laughs> And I didn't do it either, wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't Darren. Wasn't me for a change. <laughs> You're just the ideas, man, not the one that follows through with the prank. Oh, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Inspiration can come from anywhere. It can talk about manure and fertilizer and <laughs> flowers. And yeah. No, I don't know. Most builds I've seen on base plates, base plates are one of the things that are immediately covered over. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, it only really matters if you're going to put transparent stuff on top of it, like what with Darkside did with um, his build of Dagobah. Is that what you did with with yours, mate, with the X-Wing? Yeah. yeah. Well. Okay. It will be what I do with it. Yeah, what I can do with that. You need glue underneath it to make the water work. That was kind of a segue. Um, yeah, you're giving me a leave to it, aren't you? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've got road plates underneath my half of my table because it's completely covered, so it doesn't matter. Fair enough. You just use it's cheap, a lot cheaper than buying more plates. Yeah. Um, but again, it depends how big you want to make it. Like, you know, if you're making a modular, does it really matter? You know, have a look at the diner behind you. Like, does it really matter what base plate's underneath it? Oh, well, um, I think I've got ten. Yeah. Um, with the older modulars, because they didn't put interiors in them, it sort of made a difference. But with the new ones, it's, it's just yeah. The problem because is your high. alleyway. You've got all these different coloured base plates in your alleyway. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, that's, that's when you've got to grieve your alleyways, you see. Yep. Yeah. You've got to cover all them up as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, I could have chose something, but I think <laughs> it's kind of half, dis half? half dismantled in a bag. And, yes, I did use a brown base plate, but I immediately I, I, I built it up because I had tiles on it as well. And, yeah, it just really depends what effect you want. Yeah, that is a good point. If you are going to completely cover a base plate, you can, like, particularly with larger builds, you can always hide ones that are the wrong colour in the middle. Yeah. And just have the right colours around the outside. Yeah. Or you can buy all the expensive ones of the different colour. And, and that being said, I do have a great selection of very expensive base plates. If you want to, to say, contact me, and I can tell them to you for free. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes, sometimes different color base plates are a good idea. Depends Damn. on going to be. Nice. <laughs> James goes, and you can find me at your local markets. No, 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 no. That was a joke. What I said, by the way, oh, I, I don't do. That. I don't know. It's a joke. No, hey, hey, you try and get you try and get base plates out of James. James, I, can, I can't. I have done it. Oh, I have done it. I, I had. Hey, the reason I don't have base plates to spare is because. Oh, portable. Yes. Well, oh, Darren's fault. Like, where the hell? You and, Pe <laughs> you and Mr. Peebles. Sorry, Mr. Peebles, it sounds like a cartoon character. Uh, no. Um, between you and our ambassador, um, I don't have many large plates left. They've all kind of. Yeah, so. I have blue. There you go. But. Um, uh, well, that, that was there, there's some of the last hole, you know. Like, um, 
Oh, look, the actual big ones, what, the 48 by 48 and the 32 by 32. Um, yeah, oh, no, I know. You know, you know I don't uh, cage it up, but mainly I clean you out of the one plate stuff. I, I do have a stash somewhere that I'll put aside where you can't see it. Oh, sorry, um, where... Um, <laughs> I have a hidden stash and you'll never find it. Oh, no, it's some older stuff. So if we've got, like, some older sets and that, that, that need, like, that come with, um like, um what is it? A light grey crater base plate. I've got a couple of those put aside for those sets, which are sold with it. So, I, you know, when I make my sets and sell them on, I'll have something that... Um, yeah. Anyway. As an example, all right, um, I said to James he wasn't allowed to show this to Elizabeth. <laughs> and then he shows it. What are you talking about? I had it for sale. You had it for sale. That is awesome. And I, and I told you you weren't allowed to show Elizabeth. So at the end of the meeting, you waved under Elizabeth's nose and go, hey, look what I got. Hey, that is a good base plate. That's only in That's one That's an awesome plate. base plate. I, I'm not yeah, saying it's not. I look, I, 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 yeah. Why wasn't Elizabeth allowed to see it? Because you knew she didn't want to buy it. I look, no, don't get me wrong. It's an awesome base plate. It's just, yeah. Hey, if you don't want it, I'm, I'm happy to take it back for $10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the stick is still on it for 15 maybe, or more than that. I think I gave a discount for 18. It was 25. Yeah. yeah. I know you did give us a discount. Friends and friends I, discount. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. He did discount it quite heavily, actually. Because I gave him shit because he waved under Elizabeth's nose. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> I was the way he blatantly did it. I said, don't do that. And it was like, hey, look what I got. <laughs> That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> evil up. More. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, evil. Oh, look, there's an upcoming Philip book. Philip is being too quiet. No, I'm not. I'm fine. He's deep in contemplation. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Oh. I, 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 do you like to learn techniques, Philip? Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, of course I do. So where do you go to find things? To Everywhere learn? that you've basically mentioned that I've picked <laughs> up from you guys since I started doing streams like, with you guys. Bad influence. Yeah. Yes, yes, I am. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, I might just share one that maybe not everyone knows. She goes, hang on, better actually like screen share and stuff first. Here's one I prepared earlier. Here's one at screen <laughs> Sure. Ah! Okay, this is a, um, a Facebook page called Tips and Bricks. And whoever runs this page, which uh, they've also started a website as well now, apparently, uh, they draw upon a lot of the things that we've already talked about, so like places like Flickr and, um, you know, all over the internet, and they pull it together and they put it in this nice little easy <laughs> digestible font format. So like they do, um, hang on, that was my favourite trick. So here we go, path techniques. So this is something that you can quite easily share on social media with friends. I like that. Yeah, I like the way they use those um, vine pieces along the side. That's cool. Yeah. And, it, you know, and it, it's not just a look, you know, here is something pretty that you can be inspired for, um, by. It also um, tells you a little bit about it and who, you know, wh where the source material is from, which is nice. Good very good, very good. Actually crediting because... I've seen a lot of pages where they um, share like mocks and stuff like that, but they won't credit the designer because they've just found it randomly on Google Images and haven't followed it through to try and find the source material. Yeah. So this one's particularly good because in a lot of cases, this person will actually talk to the person that created the technique or the look Um and get some sort of background information from them as well. 
or you know obviously you know sometimes people who have so it's got the source material there so it can click on Flickr and it takes you to this person's Flickr and sometimes you know you'll actually see like a little bit of blurb down here that actually tells you a lot of um you know, the steps that they went through and, you know, where the inspiration came from and why they did things the way that they've chosen to. I'm so, guessing it's French. Yeah, I'm guessing too. Um, yeah, so it's a good way to discover um, maybe new, new inspirations. Cool. But, um, you know, because a lot of people are already on Facebook, face crack, whatever you like to call it, um, it's very easy to just, you know, um, follow a page and it'll pop up in your news feed every now and then. If you make sure you click on it occasionally, you know, you'll get probably daily from this place, sometimes more than once. But it's always such, such a good source of inspiration I've found since I found it. Um, one of my friends must have liked it, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. They like that. That's quite well done. Uh, I'm, yeah. I think I like the three best out of that. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's I, – I just like the way they've used the jumper place to half offset it to get the grout yeah. bit. Huh. Hmm. So, um, yeah, so this particular page covers a lot of different um, – tips like uh, i like this one particularly roof shingles to get oh, that yeah. little ramshackle look that's a very cool technique the very the cool tower, interesting. and like i said um it's a very easily digestible format and they cover like every kind of topic you can think of and they've been doing this for quite some time so obviously yeah obviously um that spaceship there is just off the hook that is cool ship yeah. timber that's 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 amazing that white one that's just yeah and the green one too i do like the green one as well so they, the, yeah so they obviously do mock of the week as well for like inspiration and stuff Ooh. But, um, that street scene stuff was really cool because it just shows how important the street furniture is. What I call street furniture, things like letter boxes, benches, bed posts, yeah, signposts, etc. It covers things like um, pieces and you know the different ways you can use them. Now that's an interesting technique there, using mm. technique axles. Yep. Mm. And just how they've done that there too with the axles. Remember those pin things you used to get? We used to play, well, you still get them. You put your hands into them and mold things. Oh. Got the impression. Oh, Rick is saying he has an Instagram as well, which explains why all of these are a nice square, easy mm. to share. Yeah. Um, I think oh, it's a cool build. Which one? Yeah. This one? Is that from a, a speeder or something? Have a look. Looks like something from a speeder from Star Wars. Um. Well, it's supposed to be from the speeder. It, yeah. It cool. Look. Cool, cool. Might be, might be, yeah. Uh, might be inspired from one. Yeah. So I find find this particular page is really quite good because they're not just one particular theme. Or style, or whatever he he or she pulls from a lot of different places, um, covers like everything and anything, and you can get some pages that'll cover like you know um, medieval, you know that sort of style castles and stuff like that. You might have someone who does like primarily pirates and boats and stuff like that. Or somebody who just does vehicles, cars, and stuff like that. But this is like lots of different things, and lots of good inspiration. Yeah. Now that's a good one. Circular techniques. Yeah. 
So we got brick bending, sideways studs, slips on fences, on yeah. the oh, tiles and stopped. That so technique that was in the top left hand corner. Brick bending. Yeah. That no, yeah, the number one there. If you use that with plates, it works really well too. Looks quite good with plates. I've actually used that technique with transparent plates and it makes awesome curved stained glass windows. Absolutely stunning if you do it right. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the great thing about it is you can just keep scrolling backwards in time. <laughs> Link the chains. Yeah. Yeah, good luck getting them. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, you know, if you're lucky enough to um, get them in bug bulk or something. Well, they're, they're a deleted part, aren't they? No, I don't think so. Oh, sorry, other than the, um, not the small. Yeah. The you small can get one. that one. You can get in black. It's in the roller coaster. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yes. It's a deleted part, I think. Yeah. Anyway. So you get the idea. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's kind of cheating. Cheating or innovating? Oh, uh, no. I... No, I'm not really keen on, on that style because it's, A, it's still connected to the sprue. Yeah, and the your problem is? The center of the sprue is not... It, it, and it's, your it's, problem is? It's not... Like, it's... It comes from Lego. It's from the machine and all of that, but it, it's it's waste. It's the thing that holds it together. Um, I've seen trees where they've done something like that, and essentially it, it's a trunk, and then you just lift and put the tree on top of of the stump, like a wig or something. That's not how trees are. They're supposed to be connected, you know, from the bottom and then work your way up. That's you, Mr. Rule Follower. Well, yeah. It... The root zone's connected to the trunk zone. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there we go. There's some nice trees there. Um, <laughs> well, look, there's a variety of some, some a trees. A variety of trees. Like, I've made an, an adaption of the... Um, the difference is I actually use real Lego, whereas opposed to some of the ones with the sideways fir tree wasn't used weren't using Lego pieces, but we'll just move on from that. Well that particular one wasn't necessarily hundred percent Lego. Yeah, strange, right? Using gonna use wrong colours, isn't it? I think that that one was actually a rendering, but anyway. Um uh, it had a railway line behind it, so yes, it's um, <laughs> that particular picture it, it is the one that mm. okay, moving on, Kate. Yes, yes, <laughs> let's just say train a lot of train guys are tight asses and buy off brand products. Oh, you went there, I went there. No, I'm not scared to say it <laughs> when it comes to tracks, you got no choice. Lego doesn't make much. Really. So this one they to make one curve, one, one, one straight. I, I can understand when they do that, but when you're using foliage that comes from that company we will never mention, um, and you know it's theirs because it's in a colour that Lego doesn't make, it's pretty damn obvious you've used an off-brand part. You know? mm -hmm. In the case of the Lego with the, the tracks, hey, all right, that's the thing. I wish Lego would make more tracks, but that's just yeah. the way they do it. So, well, uh, getting back to the topic for a second, um, Chris McVeigh is also a good place to go for tutorials. Yeah. It seems to only have his Flickr link, not his actual web page. Um, this is one of the things that um, actually prompted me to do this topic this week. Was um, I was talking to an Affle at uh, the Chandler show and, you know, I didn't actually recognise that she had stuff in there that were from tutorials, but she, you know, stood there while, while I was interviewing me and, and 
interviewing her and said, oh, you know, this one's a Chris McVay and that I got, you know, um, an idea from Pinterest. Um, you know, this is from Brick 101. So, you know, you, you can integrate things that you've used with, you know, but making from tutorials into a bigger mock. Yeah. And, uh, you know, or, or tweak it and make it your own. But it's great that they've recognised that and said that. Yeah, yeah. It was it really opened my eyes because you know, a lot of times people hide the fact that, you know, they've gotten inspiration, you know, heavy inspiration or they've actually followed a tutorial to build something or they've That's cool. instructions. You know, some people buy instructions to build, um, you know, some awesome yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, some yeah. making some yeah. serious money out of selling instructions on rebrickable and things like that. Yeah. So there's lots and lots. Like, if you are on Facebook, I would highly suggest um, following this page or um, whatever they call it on Facebook. Or um, you can go check out their website or their Instagram. Because they seem to... Is it daily? Yeah, daily. So pretty much every day you get something to, you know, learn or inspire you. Um, drool over. <laughs> drool over. They are very good at linking to source material, so you can follow through and find the um, originators of of the techniques or at least the person that belongs to the images. Oh, my God. These slope techniques. <laughs> and some of the top comments are from people I know. That's that's that um, wall in the bottom right hand corner that is so parts intensive, but it is so damn cool when it's yeah. done. Hmm. So, there's definitely a lot to be learnt. Um, I like that this pulls from a lot of different places. Um, I wish that stuff like this was around when I first started uh, building with Lego because it was really frustrating. Because if you go into, you know, go into Google and type Lego, uh, what do we want to, what do we want to learn to build? No. What? Yeah, I didn't know what snot was. Okay, pretend you're a noob. <laughs> well, that reminds me. Hey. Hey. Lego logs. When I was a kid. That yeah. was a snot piece. That was pretty much all you had to go oh, by. That, nobody can see you at the moment because I'm screen sharing. Sorry. Just oh, the headlight. I can see you. Just the headlight yeah. piece. Do I not click on myself? Yes, the headlight piece and the four by one with the two plate on it at right angle. Oh, anyway. And then the robots came out with space and you got those yeah. four sided ones. Yeah, that was the, the dark one. That's, that's just. Absolute freak piece a lot. There no. weren't many pieces to work with. Um, okay. No, they weren't. Nowadays, there's so many. Yeah. Now there's that many different types. It isn't funny. Oh, <laughs> just from using minifigure um, accessories, you can do so much. Um, yeah, people have made roofs and stuff from brooms and axe handles, and they're like, wow, you never think of it, but then. When you see it done, it's amazing. The uh, I've just just got. Oh, I've got a okay, I just googled something. Right, one of the very first things I tried to learn to make was a Lego palm tree for my dinosaur park. Yep. So I would just Google something, and like, let's just say a lot less things came up back then. Um, <laughs> uh, I break. There you go. Yeah. So uh, now you. Yeah. YouTube is a place that you can look and find um, tutorials. They're not always 100% quality, but that is an option. Uh, sometimes they're made by children, but, hey, kids can be the most creative. You never know. Uh, there's a link here to Pinterest. <laughs> uh, Eurobricks is one that um, I found relatively early on. The annoying thing about Eurobricks being a forum is that you can't search it unless you actually join the forum. So uh, if you're wanting to actually, you know, search, see there's a little search icon up here. 
you want to search for a particular thing, like say, you know, you want to learn how to build, I don't know, medieval roofs or something like that. <laughs> type that into the search bar, but you can only search if you're actually signed in. Google, on the other hand, will circumvent that and find things for you, but um, only if the Google thingy has trawled through that particular part of the forum. So this is like a master list. Uh, Eurobricks actually has quite a few master lists of how to build certain things. So this is a master list for tree building. That links you through to a lot of different um, things. Some of them look like they've long lost their um, hyperlinks by the looks of it. Seem to have lost the links for this lot while editing the post, so please have patience while I try and find them. Now, somebody edited the post and buggered it up, basically. This is a problem when it, you have something that is um, crowdsourced. So, yeah, so it lists a lot of different trees. How many of them actually do have links? Because I'm not seeing much. Um, yeah, somebody obviously buggered up some of the links. Uh, there's a lot of that are linked they just aren't blue let's um yeah so basically what people do is they they um post their links down here and then whoever actually looks after the thread updates the master thread at the beginning of it so this one's pretty old Hasn't been edited since 2015, but it does does have lots of stuff in it. Um, what's interesting? That actually has a link. God. Okay, let's just click on something randomly. So this takes us through to a Flickr page. Ooh. actually tell you how to do it, but it seems pretty straightforward. That's twisted. Three trunks north. Yeah. So they've used the um, pipe up the middle of the... Well, four trees, basically. Yeah, four tree trunks twisted around each other. Is it the actual tree trunk part or brown browns? No, no. no, no, no the, it's the, like a tree trunk part. Yeah, there's four palm okay. trees just right. made into one. Okay, well, another way around that one is to use the hose up the middle of brown one by ones. Yeah, yeah, so, you can do so that. Those that can't get hold of that part, that's how you do it otherwise. How you do it otherwise. Mm. So, yeah, Eurobricks is another one to look for things. Um, if I could be bothered looking up other stuff, I would probably show you a different forum thread, but you get the idea. There's also a lot of um, blogs out there too that have um, tutorials on them. It's just a case of knowing what you want to look for. That can be hard if you don't know what you're looking for because you need to get the right keywords in order to find the thing. So like, there's a few here that lead us back to Pinterest. Um, Pinterest does have tutorials on it, but it also has a lot of just pictures just fine, I guess. Yeah. And just getting back to keywords, if you're one of these people who does actually like sharing your techniques, please put lots of varied keywords in there. So if people are trying a keyword search, mm -hmm. they've got more chance of finding it. Yep, exactly. In interesting, when I was loading um, photos up to um, certain photo purchasing sites, I would go to the trouble of putting the location like other than the title of the photo or what it was about, I then put the location, the state, Australia, Southern Hemisphere, Earth, Milky Way. Okay. Hey, you, you get a hit. It just got more hits. People would type in something and then just, yeah, okay, all right. Fine, so all right. the intergalactic Lego fans that you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. You got to I'll just, I'll just say, this is an example, you know. I got far more hits that way, though. I mean, yeah. just by adding the... Just by adding the Southern Hemisphere one just meant that anyone that I type in the yeah. Southern Hemisphere might actually be one of my photos. Just yeah. like you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For example, here's an interesting palm tree. Yeah, I like that one. Now, if I was specifically trying to look for it and I couldn't remember its name, I would never find it. Yeah. 
Anyway. So that's that's a very cool build technique on that one. So you get the idea. The um, use of the brown um, grass plant upside down there is very, very good. And I'm back. All right. So a little technique um, as we're going snot, which is, for those that aren't familiar, is stands for studs, not on top. Now, there's a little part here called the bucket handle. I don't know if you can see that very well, the tan piece on the end there. It's the bucket handle. That's tan. Oh, I don't care. Whatever. I'm colorblind, remember? Um, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Now, there's two of the bucket handles put into a plate. Light gray. Yeah. No, it is actually tan. It's not light gray. I'm sorry, the light just doesn't show it up very well. But you put two into a plate like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sorry if there's not quite enough contrast there. But it actually enables you to back to back two plates. That is the thinnest back to back technique you can pull off. So it's very cool. If you actually just go on on and Google uh, like um, search snot Lego, you will find most of these techniques in some pretty good tutorials. There are some very good snot tutorials out there. So yeah, studs not on top lots of different ways around it and that's probably one of the better ones to get a real thin build it's not really really secure you won't you can't put a lot of weight off it but mm. if you're just trying to get something like you know less than three or four plates deep it works so yeah pretty cool little technique and of course the other one that Cherie showed there before is the um, cheese slopes jammed into a brick another mm. one that works quite well that one, if you actually use a too, too deep um, cheese slope and you put two bricks back to back, that that will actually take a lot. That is a very solid build when you do it that way. Allows you to mirror things quite well. Um, can I just borrow the screen just for a second? That's not a bad way of making a palm tree. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that just recently. Yeah. We had a bit of discussion on this. I've got a funny feeling that might be a render. Is that part actually available in green? I don't think it is. No. Yeah, I think that's artificial. I think it's a render. Yeah. Pity because I, that I would think be quite you can get useful. in transparent green. Yeah. Like yeah. Some of the renders now are getting really hard to pick because there's some very good render programs out there. Uh, and yeah, stop share. Yeah, that would be good if you want to do a banana tree. That'd be perfect. Um, yeah. The blades, but um, oh, kind of really. Why but not? then again, because people are putting up these renders like that in alternate colours, Lego might stumble across them and go, "Hey, oh, what if we produce that part in that colour? You know, there it goes. It's going to sell in bucket loads because people will use it like that." Hmm. And Keith has dropped in. G'day, Keith. And the original snot piece was the fence. <laughs> the fence? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just your basic face. It's got the fence. It's got no, no studs on it. Um, the, one oh. <laughs> the one with the grates. Yeah. And, and you know something? I know I have a pile of them here. Oh, they're right down the bottom of mine. I'm not giving them out. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't oh. have like a whole plate full of them and I can't find it. It was, was here until Elizabeth came and stuck it over. I just have to share this one more thing. Check this out for marker scale. Yeah, that's that's oh, pretty nice. fun. That's impressive. That's hard to actually imagine that is marker scale. Yeah. Those bits. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, yeah, the original snot piece. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, try crap. All right, so what, what's crap? Go on, Keith. You've got to give us the, the fill out of the acronym, mate. Isn't that the first snot piece a mini figure head? Because then you stick it up your nose and, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and when you were a kid and, no? Uh, uh. No. No. James, just you. 
I was three. Come mm -hmm. on. They gave the you me head in the, when you were three? the Minecraft baby um, zombies. Oh. Their heads can be swapped over. Really? It's the same size. Oh, and you've got the um. Uh, is that from the Christmas um, firehouse? Yeah, the Christmas firehouse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you can actually swap them over, which is good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and the baby zombies, they just they don't have any detail on their body, do they? No, their bodies. They, they do have arms, which is I don't know if you can see it properly. So yeah. the little arm bits sticking out. Oh, okay. Brains, new brains. So they're like a mutated version of mutated. The micro yeah. fig, basically. Somebody showed me the um the winter the firehouse and it looks very nice, but yeah, uh, it's in the evil territory. Very, very tasty. Very, very nice, but yeah. Christmas costs a lot. <laughs> Christmas sets are the ones where you have to get them all. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll just so, uh, one. Yeah, hide. <laughs> so apparently crap stands for crummy ramp and pit plate. All right. Yeah, I knew that. I didn't. See, you learn something new every day. I think it was just, you know, um, a crappy excuse for a, you know, a, um, a shit themed acronym i don't know i'm pretty sure that it didn't actually uh, mean anything but yeah maybe on please so what is the crummy ramp and pit plate i see you got this in the background tree yes build it I'm not allowed to. <laughs> it's not mine it is a great build this one is a really this is possibly my favourite of all the creative cars. It, yeah. Yeah, my great build in every direction. Great inside and out. Yeah. The, the kids next door that I often give sets to to um, build to make sure they're all there. If I place a yeah, window opens it, <laughs> he um, got two of those in a um, garage sale lot for ten dollars. Oh. That. Uh... <laughs> Uh, he finds some bargains on occasion, and uh, he gave them to me to build. He said, what can you do with these two kits? So I, I made a twin steer Ferrari. <laughs> had four wheels in the front. <laughs> he didn't like that. He thought that was really crappy. <laughs> Have you tried the DB5, Douglas? I haven't got that one yet. That's the only one I don't have. That yeah, might those. change your perspective of uh, creative vehicles. It, it's nice. Um Although, yeah, the F40 is, is very, very nice in just the way, you know, there's a lot more um, technique, at least from the outside, um, whereas the DB5 is more uh, technique behind the scenes kind of, you know, shenanigary. Is that a word? It is now. Um, <laughs> uh, insides that, that actually makes it look, you know, like what it's supposed to in movies. So, yeah. Uh, we, we, have it, we have a Timmy sighting in the chat. Sorry to interrupt. And it is Timmy. He says, hi, guys. I thought it was dead. Oh, well, we've joked about that a few times, haven't we? Uh, but woke up and uh, saw my wife. I miss you guys. I will have to thank my wife who's updated all my Lego friends. Oh, glad to see you in the land of the conscious, Tim. Good. Yeah. Get well. Take it easy, mate. Mm. Anyway, sorry, I had to interrupt. Yeah, that's all right. So, as no one's really answered my question, what is the crummy ramp and pit plate? Exactly what it sounds like a ramp and pit plate. Okay. Ramp and pit think uh, like um 90, how big is it 90 sets not that i actually had lego at that point in time in my life but um i have like built up plates are not flat i don't 
like that blue one you had, but more built up. Oh, oh right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm. I'm with you now. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. I just didn't know what the slang was for it. Oh, okay. Well, the downside of them is that they're prone to cracking. Yes, they are. Because they have weak spots on them. Mm. Why they've stopped making them. Yes, most likely. No base plates if kids don't look after them end up quite um, banged up. You'd know about that, Philip, wouldn't you? Getting mm -hmm. plots. Oh, yeah. What? Doozies. What's with kids? Like, like, so I recently bought some box stuff as well. But I've got a general question. I hope somebody can give me an answer. And I do understand, like, the whole point of of making things and creating is, you know, taking the torsos off and interchanging them and stuff like that. But why do people take the arms and the hands off and just, like, not everybody is limbless in the Lego universe. Why do people do that? It's not I understand that some have hooks or gloves or different whatever, but I had a list where there was, like, you know, 50 minifigs. And all of the arms were cracked or, you know, and they had to throw them out um, or take their arms off or whatever because the hands were crushed or broken or removed or, yeah. Now, interesting you should say about the hands being removed because there are a few techniques where people use hands. Just the hand. Case in point. Perfectly good set. Yep. All right. The train was there. All the minifigures bar one were actually in this bulk lot. Boom. One of the minifigures. Missing an arm. Missing and an arm. And a pink arm of all things. And it's no, no, reddish-brown arm, which is even worse. Oh, even worse, yeah. <laughs> because the end of the reddish-brown arm was actually in the hole. Because <gasps> it's ah. reddish-brown. It snapped. That It didn't just come out. Ouch. The oh, actual ball joint was inside so, also. It could be a fragile piece because of the colour that sometimes happens. Yeah, reddish brown. But still, some kids snapped it out. Yeah. Some kids sat there and went, I'm going to break you. I don't and like you. Of all the arms that I've got, spare arms that I've got in this house, do you think I have any reddish brown? No. No. Yeah, who left one? No, right. Not <laughs> well, no one yeah, not my, my not one I need. If you use the sword, you had to chop someone's arm off. Simple. <laughs> no, so the arms Harry and legs Potter. had to come off, you know. If it's been chopped off, it's been chopped off. <laughs> well, yeah. not everybody was. Stung. I don't believe there were swords in Harry Potter, were there? There were. <laughs> no, it disappears. <laughs> you spot a flesh wound. Unfortunately, that doesn't help when you're trying to get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It, it, mm. like, Speaking of reddish brown, these horrible, the skeleton feet. Oh, yeah, snapped at the top, yeah. Mm. Yep. First time oh, I pulled yeah, it apart, the set apart, snap. So thanks. <laughs> nah. Although you, you probably could still use that. Um, some I've seen um, skeleton feet being used as um, uh, like an eraser, as like a, like a control um, lever or pulley or something, in like a spaceship or some kind of, you know, doodad. Yeah, oh, there'll still be some way of using it. <laughs> hey, getting, oh. back, getting back to our, um hands, I've seen a roof, a thatched roof made out of yellow hands from Mini Fix. Yeah. yeah, and it's awesome. It's stunning. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, they um, must have got them in a lug bulk or something. I don't know. Yeah. Must have. You, you wouldn't, like, seriously, you wouldn't mangle that many Mini Figures just for the hand bit. Yeah, you think not. But then again, some people might because they want that many that are in bad condition so it doesn't all look new. Yeah, true. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, but, uh, and thanks, Keith, for putting the part number up for the crap because now I can go and have a look and see if it's what I actually really think it is. Cheers, mate. I can't believe you haven't heard of crap before. Yeah, lots of crap. There's lots of crap out there on the internet. Yeah, it's like burps and lurps and crap. Yeah, I probably have. Just, yeah, look, I'm having a slow day. Just don't do more crap. Just Yeah. 
Yeah, that, it, it, it didn't crap a bit like doing Lego. Uh -oh. Oh, it got la it got laughs earlier. Jesus. No, no, everything lagged and you froze for a second. At least I think it was you. Yes, yes, that's what happened. Oh, okay. Ha 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 ha. You're funny. My internet's no, been. I mean, seriously, you froze for me. All right. Well, I said, I said, is crap like doing Lego? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just don't I try. Yeah, it was funny earlier. I don't know. <laughs> See now, 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 viewers, all the best stuff happens before we <laughs> go button, and all the the other best stuff happens after I hit the red button. Now, Douglas, I am not hitting the red button before it's time. I I'm not my brother. <laughs> Thank God. Although, although I, 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 I believe he did that on Wednesday night. It's like, you know. He needs a sticker on his monitor that says, do not press this button. <laughs> uh, he tried to blame being tired. I'm like, seriously, it's big and red. Yeah. I'm surprised Wait. he hasn't ejected himself from the conversation yet. <laughs> I think his problem is that he has, like, dual monitors and, like, has... His links and stuff that he's sharing, like on the monitor that's like above on the shelf or whatever it is, and then the red buttons sort of on both. You know what? The red can... button on both. <laughs> you know, um, that's what you can get in for Christmas. You can make a big red button and make it like with like spring loaded, so you can have it like on the, on a pad. And obviously, he'll watch this, so you're safe. But yeah, he does like me. There you go, you're safe. So you just, you know, <laughs> make a, you know, an oversized button and then you can put it on the side of the monitor and just go, there you go, I'll press the button. Yeah. You, could, you can easily get a job with the American military. He's prepared to press the red button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Trump wants to, I swear. But I know we don't get political here, so, yeah, we've got to just embrace that. Uh, oh, my goodness. Um, oh, like, just sorry, we've got to get political, but um, how about that person that um, hijacked ScoMo's um, website? Don't know. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know, exactly. That was just classic. <laughs> oh, dear. Troll of the millennium. Mate, the guy wins it. He just wins it. He's won the internet uh, for the day. They would have known about it. They just let it slip because they wanted something to happen that would embarrass him. Uh, that's Pretty just more publicity. Mate, yeah, good or bad, your name's out there. This thing is bad publicity. No, yeah, exactly I right. I would say it's good. It's probably probably the opposite side of the person who um, got raided by the federal police. Who was that? Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> boss. Don't ask Scotty because Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Keith says, and then there was stamp stickers across many parts. Uh -huh. Yeah, that yeah. was when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. I hate stickers across even one part. That's just Lego being lazy. <laughs> and not giving us printed pieces when we paid for them. Yes, how about that? Oh, are you a self entitled asshole? Do you <laughs> I, might that phrase. I might have used that phrase. So yeah, they, they, they give it to, to kids under the age of five. Why do adults not get all the printed parts? I'm sorry, Shri. Can you show me your uh, speed champion set with stickers, please, before you complete that comment? <laughs> hey? What? What? I was making a legitimate comment. Why is it no, that? So was I. <laughs> under fives don't get stickers, but adults adults get stickers out of the wazoo. Well, you'd have to eat them first. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some Lego underneath all these stickers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure, but I think like, there is. <laughs> would you like some Lego with your stickers? <laughs> oh, the, oh, what was it? The Ferrari. Um... Oh, the Ferrari set, the one, you know, the, the GT car. Oh, my God. Right. Um, you know, the one, the, the, the modern racer? 
that one's got so many. I think we've actually included two of the same model. Yeah, not the old GT, the new one. Yeah, yeah, the one on the left. That has yeah, the same. Exactly. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the old one. <laughs> the new one. Yeah, yeah, the new one on the left hand side. Yeah. yeah. That's, oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, insane. Like it looks cool, but yeah, that's insane. Insane. how many stickers there are. It's ridiculous. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I think there was one that we counted a ridiculous amount of stickers. Thirty-five or something wasn't there on one of them apparently. Uh, thirty. He's still counting. Thirty-two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thirty-seven odd stickers on it. Yeah. <laughs> How, many? Really... How many? Thirty-seven. I've 37 probably missed a few. Four. Yeah, probably missed a few. <laughs> That's insane. Why don't they just have one big one and just put it over it, and then you just poke <laughs> holes where bricks are supposed to come out? Then that would be stamp. Yeah. Nobody likes stamp. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've seen everyone doing like their own custom printed parts, their own stickers. Yes, I'm guilty of doing my own stickers. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, James will get really up. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I haven't seen anyone do yet, though, on Lego is Hydro Dip Graphics. What? 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 Now I've put it out there. Watch it take off. I've no idea what you're talking about, mate. Go search Hydro Dip Graphics. That requires effort. I'm sorry. Okay. It's uh, a technique where they make a print on a special material and you lay it on a, on a on a water surface and then you basically press the part into it oh yeah, yeah very seen. cool technique and it just adheres to the shape very very well uh, yeah, that that model there not many stickers but not as many stickers how many times did you have to do that before it was lined up um I got really lucky. It took me two shots with one of them, and I got it the first shot with one of the other one. But yeah. that's one of the old – in the old days, that would have just been one sticker across two parts. Yeah. And then you could never have pulled it apart. Yeah. Oh, it <laughs> insane. You're like a quarter of a mil out, and you're like, ah, got to redo yeah. it. <laughs> Keith, Keith wanna... has just commented um, decals. No. Um, Keith, go <laughs> Seriously made at Hydro Dip Graphics, and it will change the way with all your modeling you do. It sounds like exactly a later, mate. It sounds like me. Now, Hydro Dip Graphics is actually pretty cool. It's um, and it's pretty um, rugged too. They do wheels and all sorts of things in it. Car wheels, I'm talking about. That's the one that spun me out about like Toyota, the way they paint cars now. Yeah, they dip them in this. In the water, and the paint's suspended in the water, and it sticks yeah. to the car, ultra thin. So yeah. when it comes out the other end, you got this. Isn't that like a, a almost magnetic in the way that it adheres to the metal? Yeah, it's Pretty kind much. of like powder coating sort of thing, but it's all liquid. Yeah. Yep. I think that's how they did. Um, my car's probably why it's going to be so expensive to fix a tiny scratch on the door. Yeah, um, it's, yeah, so it's, it's so thin the paint can't blend it. Yep. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's a whole panel job and it's just disgusting. And then you get, they got that new newer paint that's like a Teflon. So the panel will dent under the paint, but the paint will keep its shape of the car. Yep. Which, but I'm, yeah. I'm looking at hydro dipping. It says you prep it. You paint it and then you lay the hydrographic film on top of the water, activate, yep. um, and then dip the yep. object into it, and it just does this. Or it adheres to it. Yeah. Very clever. It's not cheap, though, I warn you now. It's oh, bet it's not cheap. <laughs> but you can buy kits that you do yourself, but they're still not cheap. But that's special, like, primer or something that responds to paint and water in a certain way, isn't it? Or 
It's, um, it, it kind of reminds me of those um, uh, those water those water paint kits that you have in like you know coloring books. You just add water and and all these different colors appear. Oh, yeah, Keith, they're not decals. Decals are different. I think it's like a. Anyway. So this has some kind of like a chemical reaction component to yeah. it. From what it, I it can just get. conforms to the shape. It is incredible. It doesn't matter what the shape is. If you know, pretty much no shape is too complex. You can't put that stuff on if you know how to do it. Mm. Well, um, water slide decals are another way that are probably a little less expensive. And as Keith has pointed out to me before, you can actually buy inkjet, inkjet printable sheets. Mm -hmm. You can um, print your own stuff on. So, yeah, thanks for the tip on that one, mate. Appreciate it. it on. We'll stick around. Yeah. Well, with the, the one thing with um, water slide decals is you can actually move them around and reposition them. And I don't know why Lego haven't used them instead of stickers. Uh, probably because they're not kid-friendly. And they dry yeah, out. They and not because they, they, yeah, they, they will dry out and crack, and they do crease quite easily. Which Actually, is... they did used to have those. Um, the oh, weren't the well, they were kind of similar. Um, like the F, the ones um in the F one, they were quite brittle. Um, were they kind of like decals? But they were they were very like you could replace them quite easily but once they were on they were on for good and then they'd flake and yeah they, they didn't last you know, at least the ones out now they you know if they're on properly they'd last yeah. well. that's probably the one thing that i really detest about stickers on lego is that um if they do get heat affected mm. or they get uv affected they just fall apart yeah like the stickers, not the Lego. Yeah. That's why I love printed bricks because it's done. It's done. Mm. So. Except yeah. the old space gold that rubs off. Yeah. It's cold. That's, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the printed brick. I really am. Oh, so, yeah. And just because Timmy missed it earlier. Hello, Mr. Timmy. It's Mr. Mr. Lemon Chicken. Chicken. Mr. Lemon Chicken. Honourable Mr. Lemon Chicken. Just for you, Timmy. Lemon Chicken. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, Keith brought up a very good one. Um, Instructable. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah. Classic space gold. Yeah. One part out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Has that never been used? <laughs> it was one of the last sets I got as a kid, and I had so it was one of the very early snot sort of pieces, and I had no idea how to use it as a kid. All right, so it just didn't get used. Oh, okay. <laughs> so as a result, it stayed in pretty good nick. Fair yeah. enough. Bigger. Yeah. Um, like I was going to say, Keith's brought up something. Um, in, in, um, something useful. He suggested looking up instructables how to apply stickers with soapy water. Um, you'll probably find that there'll be tutorials in the instructables as well. It's just a website where people post DIY stuff. Ever heard of instructables? No? Yeah, no, instructables are cool. And yeah, it's, it's thanks to communities like that too that. A lot of people. <laughs> I love, I love, I love the delay with the chat, like the delay between when we're talking and when people comment. Timmy says that would be number eight, lucky chicken. <laughs> Menu, lucky chicken. Yeah. yeah. Is it still alive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yes, yes. Very good, Timmy. Um. But the communities like Instructables are good, though, because it gives a platform for people to share, mm. and it's good that people do put that stuff up and share it. So, yeah. And that's what we do here. I mean, we share a lot of good stuff, you know? Like, you know well, that's the point of these, you know, Friday nights is to impart some wisdom or just bounce around ideas and, you know, uh, have a bit of a laugh and not take things too seriously. Um, because I know... 
go from, from a beginner's perspective when I started in all of this, everything was so overwhelming and you don't know where to start to even begin to look for things. You might stumble across something on YouTube if you happen to use YouTube. I know it's not huge with the adults. Um, it's more of a, you know, teenagers and kids thing. But, you know, you might, might run across, you know, a live stream like this and go, oh, look, there are people like me and, you know, you can learn stuff. And well, The biggest thing I've found is um, the way Lego controls the word Lego. Mm -hmm. It makes it hard. That's the biggest thing that makes it hard to find things on the internet because yeah. if you're not Lego, they don't like you using that word. You can use it in a descriptive way. You can't say something is Lego. You can yeah, say something is made, of, made of Lego. Made of Lego, yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, they yeah. make that um, very, very clear. Yeah. Let's just say once upon a time when I used to make things on Etsy, I found out very quickly how uh, Lego's legal team gets on to people <laughs> uh, who describe things in an accurate way but not by the rules. I wasn't into Lego back then. I just happened to be, you know, making crafts with it. Were you a bad? Is that what you're trying to say? I did a bad. Ooh. I bad didn't bad. know I was doing a bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, they only get they only seem to get it funny about things that could be seen as potentially an actual Lego product. Yeah. So like, yeah, if the way that you put your words together makes it sound like it might be or an actual Lego product, despite where it yeah. may be Lego uh, product or Lego endorsed. Yes. You're not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, this is before I... Well, I'm pretty sure I had a disclaimer. Like, it was common, like, if you looked up things that were made, you know, upcycled using Lego, you know, people put a disclaimer on it. But apparently for this one listing, the disclaimer just wasn't enough. They're like, nope, Pfft, copyright. <laughs> copyright infringement taken down. Boom. Well... At least you just got it taken down. They didn't actually send the lawyers knocking on your door asking for money. Oh, it was, yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they they have lawyers that that that's what they do. But this oh, yeah. is the scary one. You get someone makes a birthday cake and uses something like a frozen image or something on it. No, oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want Disney finding out if you've done something like that. No, and it's amazing how many people it's got it. You need to put a cease and desist order on a birthday cake that's probably already been destroyed by the time the photo's been posted. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, cease and desist. Do you want me to throw it up and send it to you or what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just send him a bag of poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got sprinkles in it. Yay. Yay. Yeah. 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 I did a Lego. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Back to the poop jokes. Okay. Yeah. But a friend of mine um, has a printer that she loads with um, food friendly inks mm -hmm. and she prints on the sheets of icing. Mm -hmm. And she can print anything you want. I mean, you know, it's like it's, it's the, the sky's the limit sort of thing, you know? And like, yeah. Yes. She actually had a warning that. Um, you know, she couldn't do certain things, and yeah, the, the same sort of joke was floating. What are they going to do? Ask for the poop samples to get it out of them. It's a bit hard to enforce, but but then again, it's a case of um, she's doing it as a hobby, not as a business. She doesn't sell them, so they couldn't really ping her on that. Yet, one of the local bakeries, um, not far from her, actually did cop a bloody big um, dollar amount against them for because they got raided with. Whole piles of sheets of icing printed with some um, certain companies' logos and designs on them. They get stung with a multi million dollar fine. Uh, it was, it was, no, it was in like um, several thousand dollars worth yeah. of infringements. It wasn't a huge amount, but it was still enough that makes them, you know, sort of like, yeah, it, it hurt them enough that you wouldn't want to do it again. Yeah, it wasn't just a minor that was slapped like on them. See Disney do that to every Star Wars fan who ever gets a cake made for them. Yeah, exactly. But it's you know, it's it's probably also a thing though to stop people from actually selling the actual sheets of icing on the internet though too. I mean, you know, sort of like yeah, yeah. Know, and you know, the thing is, so many people do it though. They're like, oh, but I didn't know. Yeah, 
you know, you knew. But anyway, that's the way it goes. You know? but, um, no, it happens in a lot of different hobbies too. Not yeah, and I mean, the copyright, we, we've gone over this before. Copyright infringement is a serious thing, as in, in intellectual property infringement. So we've got to, you know, accept that. But, uh, they spend the money to develop it, it becomes theirs. Yeah, pretty much. Just make another character called Baba Jinx, and it's all good. <laughs> that one will mind. I've noticed a lot of like custom minifigure makers really skirt the lines of IP by renaming their characters. Yeah, sort of like um, poultry enthusiast guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh, dodgy. <laughs> Not dodgy at all. No, poultry enthusiast. Although. Is Colonel Sanders a man or a copyright? Because they could argue that they're making a minifigure of the man and therefore... Well, Colonel Sanders was a real person. He's exactly. Just so they, they could be modelling the man, which therefore that would be okay because um, yeah, they but can't the own copyright if they're dead, especially if it's on themselves. The, pro- the problem is that from very early on, the Colonel Sanders was actually... Like a trademark and yeah, corporate yeah. trademark. Corporate right. trademark. Um, doesn't matter the fact that um, Colonel Sanders. For those that don't know, um, the actual eleven secret herbs and spices could be bought off of any supermarket shelf in America as a premix. I think KFC sold them off as as well. So, so yeah, but it was just the way he cooked it. <laughs> yeah. I oh, know it is um, actually the the half microwave, half oven, half deep fryer, hybrid cooking machine, whatever the hell you want to call no, it. No, it's, it's actually um, cooked in a pressurized deep fryer. Yeah, pressure, pressure um, fryer. Yeah. <laughs> Which means all the oil gets pushed right into the meat. Right down into your uh, veins. Yeah, yeah, exactly where you want it. Yeah. Cholesterol. Yeah, my, one of my first um, jobs in the corporate chain world was at a kfc in alice springs because we wanted to have mcdonald's in alice springs so um oh geez they're building another mcdonald's it's literally 150 meters from my house where i am one two three four five six seven yeah i've got eight mcdonald's now within um three four kilometers of my house wow that's you got a lot of stoners in your area or something? Oh, it's Cranbourne. It's just, yeah. Oh, <laughs> of course. I hadn't Asian Cranbourne, that's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, we're going to have six in. Well, the six in... Actually, no, they'll be, they'll be around that much in Frankston. So there's six in around Bendigo, but Bendigo is, I don't know, there's this weird kind of... Oh, I don't want to move out of my little neighbourhood, so we'll have another neighbourhood and... Yeah, you know, each little neighbourhood's it's a Macca's. <laughs> four or five blocks. Like it's not really it's not like Kringle, which is a little bit bigger than say Long Gully. <laughs> but the places they put them sometimes are ludicrous. The one they've just put in Packenham. Right on one of the busiest corners in town oh. has just absolutely destroyed the traffic. Yeah. Bad enough yeah. there already as it was. I come in off I come in off the other street the other way now. I don't come in up that way. No, just ruin that part of town for access. Yep. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just like up on the highway in Packenham where they got all those Mac, the Maccas and everything. That destroys the whole traffic flow there too. Mm. <laughs> Keith says in Mount Isa they only have one Maccas within about 899 kilometres. <laughs> Oh, you'd have one of them ones when you're driving along the highway. It keeps telling you 300 k's to the next Maccas. <laughs> oh, they should have one per town. And unfortunately, in Frankston, it'll be, you know, it'll have to be like two kilometres by two kilometres by two kilometres square. Like, it'll be just, you know, the Maccas mega store. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. How what, did we get on the I don't know. I don't I, I, how did this happen? We got there from the poultry enthusiast, believe it or not. We were talking about <laughs> KFC. Yeah. I didn't I, mention chicken at all, so don't look at me. No, no, no I did. Chicken. <laughs> you didn't lead us down this garden path for a change. 
No, I didn't actually. You can all, you can all do BB eights. <laughs> oh, look, it's a BB eight. Philip, you, you finished it. Yeah, I finished it about two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I finished it. Before, I, I think I finished it before you hit the live button because you decided to like, move on. Hey, <laughs> is that yeah, why you're yeah, like, what? You what? started yakety yak yak yak. <laughs> Get away <laughs> from round number. Eight's not a round <laughs> number. Got away from round number. Eight's not a round number. No, hang on. In a eight minute, eight out of two numbers. It's two zeros on top of each other. Can't get much. Can't get much rounder. Yeah, it's oh, very curvaceous. It's the twentieth now. We can now start the thread. We're all good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, blame, blame me. Oh. Uh, so going completely off topic. Has anyone noticed I'm wearing a rainbow shimmery scrunchie? No. Nope. Why would we realise that? Well, what would that be off topic? Man and you no one, no one realised that I shaved. So why would we realise you're wearing a rainbow on your head? I'm wearing a rainbow on my head. Is it? Pretty <laughs> I've noticed you shaved. Have you noticed I haven't shaved? Yeah. The camera zooms that much. Months later, it's people like you James, you should shave. It's so so bad that I couldn't even tell. <laughs> no one can. <laughs> like in a couple of months, if you would come along and pat my face, you go, "Oh, hang on." <laughs> <laughs> oh heck, James, I've probably got more beardy bits. Than oh, me. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, the joys of middle age. That's all right, James. I couldn't. Ha I couldn't grow facial hair either until I was twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, James? <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you for some bizarre reason. <laughs> twenty-two. Actually, by the time I was twenty-two, I had a beard longer than this. Oh, <laughs> turn your hearing aid up, James. Hello? I was determined to look like a member from ZZ Top. Oh God! Uh, all I know is you're old when you can when you can pluck your ear hairs out. It's like nah, it's no good anymore. <laughs> oh no! They've just <laughs> descended into madness. It's past midnight. <laughs> yep. Who you plucks their own ear hair? I've got a wife that does that for me. Oh uh, no! I was a being single. You've got to find them yourself. <laughs> Too much work. Uh, no, I'm just having a look at something in the moment, and uh, I'll explain later. But no. Uh, okay. Oh, we better stop screaming now. I mean, I'm intrigued. <laughs> He's brought up a calculator to see when you actually start growing facial. Oh. <laughs> it came up with the age of seventy-seven. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious! I'm on you. <laughs> you are so mean. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, dear me. Fine. James is likely to grow feathers before he grows facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ouch! 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 Well, it's because he's the chicken guy. Don't worry. <laughs> James the Borg. <laughs> I think the comment was last year, wasn't it, James? For November, you were going to start this year for next year? <laughs> um, I think I might share this. Go on. Yeah, okay. What is it? All right. I'm not going to mention who's doing it. I'm not going to mention when it's on. I'm not going to mention where it is. I'm just going to say that <laughs> a very um, extremely unoriginal name for a Lego exhibition will be done in October called Rickvention. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my unimpressed face. <laughs> really, Rick? You thought about that one for how many seconds uh well done it's 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 a vention of rick <laughs> his last year's model <laughs> no no 
Uh, <laughs> they had several. Oh, maybe there'll be multiple rigs. Like, no, no. I, I, my, my biggest problem is that it's only one letter removed from the largest show in Australia. Yeah. Which. <clears throat> mm, okay. <clears throat> Is that block pension? No, sorry. No, that's uh, Benny O'Briggs. Uh, uh, Timmy says, We're too funny. Stop. I'm going to pop my new lungs. <laughs> well, Timmy get new lungs. Well, that's what he wrote. <laughs> In Malaysia, there'd just be two plastic bags, wouldn't they? Paper bags. Nice. Oh, ones in. <laughs> any trade in lungs? Yeah, you can buy anything in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> you get it fitted cheap in China. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, no, Chinese lungs will be like solid plastic. So, what they look like lungs? Do they act, act like lungs? No. It was just plastic lumps of lead. Metal. Could, could you imagine getting someone going to have a hankering of, to roll around in the mud? Wish, wish.com. I'd, I'd, check, I'd check to see what sort of lungs they are. They're pig lungs. <laughs> Craving to eat grass all of a sudden because he's got cow lungs. <laughs> Keeps trying, keep, keep trying to hump his lounge because he's got dog lungs. <laughs> Do you find yourself lactating more than usual? <laughs> <laughs> okay, James has got me. Hey, God. <laughs> what was in that pizza? <laughs> I don't know, but I didn't I even have any. That's what worries me. I'm making a joke. Yeah, all right, yeah. Thanks for the memories. Memories. <laughs> memories. Everyone, let know what. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, this BB 8 doesn't stand up because he's got a stud on the bottom of him. Well, what are you doing sitting on the stud? That's wrong. What? What? What did you say, Shuri? I said BB 8 won't stand up for himself. No. Nope. Are you bullying him? No, no. I got... No, no, no. <laughs> the world's most precarious that. balancing act, and then no. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh dear. So, anyway, I suppose the question is: Is has anyone learnt anything new tonight? Yeah, I learned what crap was. <laughs> As in C R E. You can honestly say that because. <laughs> yeah, I can actually say that. I actually learned what crap was. Oh, my goodness. I even got a part number for crap. You own so many Apple products and yet. Oh. <laughs> 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 and then you're still surprised. Oh, I, I, just, I own so many Apple weird. products. I'll tell you right now, I do not own any Apple phones. Ah, well, why is that? Because it's... Because I will not buy into the fact that you have to buy a new one every 10 minutes if you want it to work. Because I refuse to own anything Apple. I have an Apple phone. It's perfectly fine. Thank you. Until you upgrade it, which will be in eight months time. I don't upgrade that soon. Jeez, please. I certainly don't get the newest phone. That's stupid. I'll tell you right now, I still, I have, I have Apple computers here that are over 20 years old and they still crank. It's all right. Just lower, you lower your expectations and they work fine. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Apple, oh, Apple computers belong in school classrooms. I know. Oh, really? It's like Coles had to give them away. Oh, 
It's like school has school has a sale. Buy one of our old crappy wooden school chairs, and we'll give you an Apple computer. Oh, Apple too, yeah, well, we, should, <laughs> we should be. Uh, hey, if you can, if you someone gives you an Apple IIe, you can give it to me because they are worth a yeah a lot of money now. They're not bad. Oh. Boat anchors, really. Yeah, um, they're good to make turn into fish tanks. Yes, yes, they are actually. Yeah, or you like, them. they work better as a fish tank. <laughs> I like Lego. Yeah. You're weird. You're Lego. Yeah. What are you doing talking about Lego on a Lego stream? Oh. Crazy woman. I want to talk about. Davis has run out of things to say. <laughs> Davis wants to talk about ducks. No, he doesn't. No, no, no one does. <laughs> you, uh, what? I'll show you the one thing that. That pissed me off this week. What? If he shows a photo of James. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at? Hey, oh, the Disney. Fuck off See the Disney castle? The top of it? Yeah. I've had to take that top pointy bit off because it doesn't fit by one centimeter. Oh, it's too tall. It's too tall by one sure. centimeter. Drill a hole through your floor. <laughs> How dare you be too tall? Just drill a hole through your floor so it fits. <laughs> I've been thinking about just dropping the shelf one one layer. Oh, yeah, you could do that too. Yeah. More fun drilling yeah. a hole through the floor, though. Then it'll fit. It's not as if you've got anyone that you're going to upset if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't get over it. I set the shelf up thinking, yep, sweet. Got heaps of room for it. <laughs> um, did did Douglas, did you like measure the space before you? Well, I measured the width and the and the, the length and but not, not the height. The height. <laughs> but I something did. that's a really tall thing, you didn't measure the height. Oh, I kind of did the same thing when I was setting up my shelves here, and I thought I'll oh, put all the um a new hope stuff, all the original trilogy stuff sets, I should say. On the second shelf, oh, and no. I measured the highest, the highest thing I had, and went right here. Yeah, she's all going to fit. That's awesome. Started putting it all on there. Come to the very last one, which is my Jabba's Palace mock, which is two Jabba's palaces on top of two Rancor pits. Oh. And um, yeah, it doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't be bothered taking all the sets off the shelf. So I just went, yeah, well they can go up to the next shelf now. <laughs> so yeah, I can understand how you can make that mistake. It's easily done. <laughs> I left heaps of room though for the modulars and stuff on those shelves over there, but yeah, and modulars are a bit tricky to find spaces for. And the one that just fits is you see uh, the Taj Mahal. Yeah. That that little spire bit sitting in the hollow bit underneath the shelf. That, that only just makes it as well. <laughs> so where's the special where's the special spot you chose for um Ninjago City and Ninjago Docks, Shiro? Hmm? Where's the special spot you chose for Ninjago City and Ninjago Docks? Uh the coffee table over there because I have no other space at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was half expecting to say wrapped in plastic and they're in the garage. No. <laughs> No, no, no. My garage has more important things than just Lego. Car? Huh? No. No. Garage is off car a car. in a garage? What the hell? Who has a garage in their car? A, a garage in their car? <laughs> no one. You, you, only, you, only have, you only have to drive around places like Cranbourne and Packham to realise that no one ever puts the car in their garage. She gets herself an, gets herself an X-Trail and now she thinks she can fit a whole garage in a car. <laughs> Where are they going to grow all their dope oh, if they put park cars in the garage? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she she up upgrades from a sedan to an SUV. Oh, I can fit a garage in my car. No, you can't, Jerry. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god! I've got a Ford Territory bigger than your ex-trial, and I can't put a garage in my car. House in my car. Oh my god! 
I was like, if Sean home, is he hearing the bullshit that you're trying to tell people? <laughs> oh, no, he wouldn't spend like it. Oh, I can watch this back later. I'm sure he wouldn't edit it out. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be like, what the hell are you doing? Tell him you can fit a garage in the car. <laughs> did, you have, did you have some of James's pizza? <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to say that James has something much more interesting than eggs on his pizza? <laughs> Apparently, mind altering. I, I assure you, <laughs> no mushrooms. No, <laughs> mushrooms. Actually, I did have mushrooms out, but I didn't slice them up because I thought, nah, they'd just be. A bit too much. I just had the caps come on. And no, I, I know what type of mushrooms you were insinuating or leaning towards. It. No, I'm not going to buy it. Leaning, huh? Leaning. Oh, you just reminded me with capsicums how many customers we get um, do the American thing. I can't find this, and they're under P looking at peppers. Because <laughs> they've just got a recipe off of Pinterest or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're looking Look at the peppers. peppers. No peppers. Bell peppers. What's a bell pepper? Mushrooms, pepper? Mushroom, bacon, and garlic on barbecue sauce. That's the only real pizza. Too sweet. Barbecue sauce is way too sweet. I same. love barbecue sauce. Mm. So, no. how have we got around to the topic of what pizza toppings? I don't know. Everyone must be getting hungry or something because we're talking about food. We started with food. We're ending with food. That sounds like a sandwich. <laughs> no, pizza. Because she really is confused tonight, isn't she? Mm, mm. No, I'm saying that. Different between a pizza or a sandwich. I think she can fit a garage in an next trial. Jeez. Philip. <laughs> what? You put something <laughs> Two things. It's called sandwiching. Started... No, it's not a segue, but anyway, can you put a segue in your sandwich? Oh, God. <laughs> started at the beginning with James like, eating. Oh, I hadn't started nothing. And we're finishing with talking about food. No, we're talking about segue. Isn't that that thing you ride on two wheels? <laughs> <laughs> you ride it. Oh, yeah, but if you hate it in the garage, not the other way around. I don't drive it. You fit that in the extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not with the whole garage. It'd have to be the segue of the garage, not both. Is there anybody <laughs> left in the live chat? Help, help, help. I'm being sidetracked by mean people. There's actually eight people still watching. Well, seven, because I'm one of the eight. So how, many, how many of them are actually us? <laughs> oh, we've got so many people watching. It's all us. Oh, Yeah, it's, it's five of us. And we're all watching that one. <laughs> So there's three people actually watching. Maybe. Five of Maybe. us and three spongs. Let's <laughs> <laughs> say I'll pass me night or does he turn into a um a spong? <laughs> it turns into a spong. What was he before? A spong no, I don't know. <laughs> Mowgli? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to know. You feed him after midnight, he turns into a gremlin? I don't know. Don't get him wet. Or as Spong would say, moist. Moist, yeah. Pineapple on pizza, oh. no. No. He likes moist and tight and lit. Moist, tight, cubby cakes. Moist. Isn't moist one of the best words in the English language? Uh <laughs> Timmy's here. Timmy, you gonna save me, Timmy? One not word after actually, that comment. No. One, one word that actually sounds like what it means: moist. Moist. <laughs> no, moist talent, I believe. <laughs> Timmy, Timmy says, "I need my doctor. You guys crack me up." Okay, I, I don't. Oh, he's still there. So he mustn't have heard our comments about his new lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd gone quiet because we'd finally killed him. Oh, no, don't. Oh, dear. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Look, Timmy, it's a BB four and a half. It's not big <laughs> enough to be an eight. <laughs> I think we're just entertaining Timmy now. Uh, no, there's nine people watching. Oh, we got an extra one. Quick, say oh. something, Lego. Look, BB eight. There you go. Uh, Miss Amy just popped back in. It's Tim's doctor. <laughs> Will you guys stop talking about his lungs? 
the clip. Uh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Miss, Amy, Miss Amy says, just put a video up of what I got with my money. I feel like my videos aren't great, but I'm sure, well, I'm hoping people will enjoy it anyways. Oh, well, give us a link to your channel in the chat. What's Miss Amy's well, channel? Well, people can oh. click on it. Like, it's still there in the, the live, in the playback in the live chat. So people can just click on her name. Just click on, yeah. Uh, last time it, no, not her. Well, let me clean on a name. Oh, you mean the three dots next to <laughs> yeah. For those who are blessed with the ability to understand English, can you repeat that? Wouldn't no, let no. me click on a name because you click Look on the three dots next to my message. That can't follow instructions. Sure, yeah. woman. I can Hold follow on. instructions. Oh, I followed your instructions to like your video. Okay, this is Miss Ambie's channel. Oh, I found it. Wasn't that tonight's theme? Especially I'm subscribing. Like, uh, follow instructions. Isn't that kind of the way that you define There you go, Miss Amby. You got a new subscriber. <laughs> and I even hit the bell so I make sure that I find out when you post stuff. <laughs> and I'm going to go through and like all your videos because I've only ever liked one of <laughs> Cherie's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Once I showed you how to like things and you didn't like me ever again. I mean, what sort of stalker are you? I keep forgetting to click the like on every video each week. It all, well, one of all three videos each week. Hey, look, 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 look. Eight likes. There you go. I click the like. Wow. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I uh, thought I would share Miss Ambies because um, she has, like, supported me with some super chats in the past. I appreciate it. I'm always up for subscribing to new channels. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's the best way to learn new things. What the heck is that? Make what is James play? doing? Playing I think James has gotten bored. I'm trying to draw yeah, a full I'm not sharing in the that. Hat. I did not oh. want to get copyright struck. Oh, is that World of, world of War crap? Possibly. Oh, I'm actually, I'm just throwing buckets of shit. And, and Are you throwing buckets of Lego? Some of these, the things that these people are talking about at the moment. Um, yeah. Moving on. Okay. So you out. just did Lego, did you? Uh, well, I figured considering it was 120, it'd be good, but yes. Anyway. Is it 120? Yes. Oh, I went to um, click on where it. He's living where they have daylight yeah. savings, yes. I went to click on the, on the emoji thing and accidentally clicked on give Sheree money. I fixed it. You can give me money, but no, I clicked I'd on the emoji thing. Directly. I fixed it. Yeah, here, yeah, give me money, Philip. <laughs> give me money. <laughs> I just want to kill the bear. There we go. Oh, dear. I've had that dream. Sorry. What? Anyway, can you stop sharing your screen, James? I don't want to get right. in trouble. Sorry. You can do whatever you like in the background. I don't care. Anyway, seeing as James is so bored, maybe we should wrap up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm multi-screening. See? multi Just why do we have to go? Because James is bored. Just kick him out. Bye, James. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking, but okay. Oh, what? Well, I get meaner after midnight. Oh, Somebody... <laughs> Although, although my husband got a bit cranky because we ate the last of the cupcakes that our son made in um, home ec today. Oh, live technologies. Hang on, who's this we <laughs> that ate the last of the cupcakes? <laughs> the, the other person was the son that made the cakes. Well, he's allowed to eat them. What, what is he whinging about? We'll make some more tomorrow. Well, you've got to eat them while they're moist and tight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my god! Nothing better than a tight, moist cupcake. Oh my god! Oh my god! A tight cupcake. Seriously, tight cupcake. Sorry. Like, seriously, is this American Pie or something like? No, it's Australian cupcake. <laughs> sad, sad. Completely different. Yeah, completely. Mm. So are they sponge cakes or spawn or spawn cakes? Uh, yuck. Uh, uh, cakes. Uh, 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 no, Darren. Hey. Okay. I want to go uh, home. All these people 
tuning in for Le- tuning in for Lego Lego talk, and now they're listening to like food and Gross. cupcakes and. I did ask the essential question: pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Lego. No. I said no. You don't put fruit on pizza. Uh, bugger it! I'm I'm gonna be just writing on my flying disc. So no. Nah. <laughs> oh, have you upgraded from the carpet? I have a flying flaming disc. Yes. James mm-hmm. is like, that's it. Screw you, people. I'm going and playing whatever this game is. World of Warcraft. It's, it's uh, I'm essentially killing time until Fallout 76 comes out. Then I can play something that was just looks like it was designed to be played in, oh, I don't know, this century. <laughs> well, if you're going to kill time, you'd just play Battlefront, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, well, I'm loading yeah, screen. There's pineapple on pizza. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, what was that, Shuri? He says pineapple on pizza. No, 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 no. Exactly. Was, you don't, you don't put fruit on pizza. <laughs> well, um, yeah, well, you put tomato on pizza. No, you fruit. don't. No, you don't. You put tomato sauce on pizza, but not tomato. Tomato paste. Tomato on pizza. Whatever. Depends if you get one of those gourmet tomato. ones. You get the little cherry tomatoes. And oh, cherry tomatoes are awesome. Or sun-dried tomatoes, which... Sun-dried you know. tomatoes are awesome. You don't put other fruit on pizzas. Other fruit. Banana? A desert. No. What? A no, the only time you put banana on something if it's on your cereal. Oh, a dessert pizza. They're fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Nutella, passion fruit, Nutella, Vegemite pizzas. Oh, you people are sick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put anything you want on a pizza. I just got to ask them. <laughs> a dessert pizza is fantastic. It's like a dessert pancake. Oh, gross. I like Lego. <laughs> Yeah, I've been, I've been keeping oh, the stream on track every Lego time. Lego. 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 <laughs> okay, I think we're too squirrel now. It's time. To I reckon James could identify what set this came from. Too squirrel. For the nose. For the smell. Oh. Where's that squirrel? I can't even end oh. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, that's a big baby, <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah, that that's basically um, a certain coop minus a certain chicken. Hmm. What's like a big BB-8? Douglas has a big BB-8. Oh, hey, I've got the big BB-8. He's on my shelf behind me. Don't shake him too much. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, is it? That's that one. That's one I'm after. One that turns the head. <laughs> <laughs> it is a funky feature. Hang on. Owls I'm do fun. something Lego. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I threatened to end it and it was like, Lego, Lego, no, Lego. I'm going to do something Lego. Oh, keep, keep the stream on. Keep the stream working. Keep it on topic. Revenge. Who's <laughs> <laughs> standing here chewing? <laughs> doing a chewy. Dog's revenge. Oh, yum, yum. I think it was much more fun when you were using a pork to like a marionette. There you go. Pork's wow. revenge. I guess anything last week. This thing's already on clearance or something in America? Yeah, 20% off. Pity I brought this 20% off the day it was released. <laughs> Off his clearance. Oh, this was twenty percent off at uh, um, Big W on the day it was released. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh. Now I wonder why. Sure. That makes, that makes like the quality of the item. Hey, but... At least it's not like um, what they're doing with the Harry Potter sets. Oh, we're having a sale. Don't put that out. <laughs> Excluded. <laughs> Not included. No, I wonder why their sales are down for that certain chain. Hmm. Mm. All the things that people want, they're not on sale. Yeah. Mm. Why would you actually put things put things people want on sale? People uh, will buy them go. anyway. Exactly. Mm. Competitors. <clears throat> bum 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 bum. 
it's like getting your Lego price matched and they, and they crack it on you. <laughs> and now for something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pork with hair. I need <laughs> headphones. Headphones, thank you. Uh, we can see your hair as well. Yeah, well, yeah, I can't hide fully behind the ball. Without moving its mouth. I did, that, I said, and, right. and now for something completely different. I'm scared, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the we all chicken thing talking? Uh, you just got to pull out the um, a Darth Maul bust. <laughs> Hide behind that. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Oh, that's even Why? worse. That angle. How? <laughs> Actually, that was better when you when you lined your eyes up with it and you left your forehead visible. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Fogging. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now for something oh, yeah, completely man. different. <laughs> yep. And James it's is it? It's going to be after midnight. Definitely after midnight. <laughs> James is a chicken. James is a chicken. Bok bok. <laughs> I need to superimpose this over myself for every stream from now on. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't realize the mouth was opening and closing as well. <laughs> that is hilarious. Give me more chicken. I want more chicken. Meh. 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 That's it. Everyone has to get a pog. And do a pork screen. Oh, yes, we should all do pork screens like this the whole stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. That would be awesome. It would be awesome. I think we should do this. Definitely. You can count me out of that one. I'm um, actually lending my horse mask to my dad for, um, for uh, Cup Day. He's going to go around in a social event with a horse mask on. I've convinced him. It didn't take long to convince him of that. <laughs> oh, dear. He's nearly 70. Oh, dear. That's going to look great. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm such uh, a bad one. <laughs> it's always one of the great, great news shots, the aftermath of the uh, Melbourne Cup. All the drunk people passed out in the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> and if you see one with a horse's head mask, it might be my old man. So awesome. Oh, no, is he a bit of a lush? No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> um, but. Well. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's all good. <coughs> and well I've got to head off because I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Well, we might just wrap this up now, anyway. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who's joined us in the live chat. It has been lively as always. Uh, thank you to <laughs> Douglas for jumping out of the live chat to join us. It's always good yep. to have you on the panel. I want to say thank you to Paul Philip. Thank you. <laughs> Night, everyone. <laughs> James, and also Darren. Not everybody. Uh, hopefully we'll have um, Bilza uh, back soon. Uh, he is off on bed rest. Uh, yeah, get well, buddy. And saying to Timmy, by the sounds of it, get well, Timmy. We want to see you back soon, mate, if you can. Um, until next time for everyone else, I hope you found this stream uh, enlightening and you've learned something <laughs> or uh, <laughs> can impart some wisdom in the um, in the ch um, not the chat in the oh God. in the comment section. Hit the big red button, Adam. Yeah, That's right. yeah hit the pineapple, red button. Pineapple or no pineapple in the comments. <laughs> yeah, pineapple, yeah, no, 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 no
<laughs> Isn't pineapple and, a safety word? Yeah. <laughs> and if you've missed us, uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll get notifications on your smart devices. So until next time. Or not so smart device if you have that. Good. Learn stuff, and I will see you in the next live stream. Good night. 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 Penguin. <laughs>